What's going on everybody? It's Devin here and welcome back for another Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Paranautical Activity. Um, I have no idea what this game is really about. I just picked it up on the PSN store last night for like two bucks on sale. Um, the game was uh, developed by a couple of companies. One's called um, Code Avarice and the other one's called Digerati. Um, I only picked it up because it really combines two of my favorite things. One, I really like Paranormal Activity, uh, both the movies and the thing itself. And um, I also like nautically themed things. I'm not sure why this is exactly nautically themed, but we're going to get into that. Um, the game was released on October 20th, 2014 on Windows. It was released everywhere else on uh, February 12th, 2015, including PlayStation 4, where we're going to be playing it today. Um, and basically what the game's all about is Paranautical Activity is a first-person shooter that uses procedural dungeon generation and permadeath. Uh, features commons of roguelikes. So, the various levels in the game are based around a room structure similar to the dungeons of The Binding of Isaac. Um, I heard about that game, some sort of Zelda ripoff. Um, which include random enemy generation, shops, and treasure rooms, where players can buy health, armor, and better weapons. Killed monsters will drop health and in-game money to be used in shops. Each level features a boss battle that must be fought before the player can move on to the next level. Okay, well that all sounds like things that I enjoy in a game, so uh, let's get into this and check it out. What are we doing here? Okay, so we got the tank. Let's see what characters we can play as here. We got Gortu. We got a scythe and some sort of shotgun or something, maybe a hand pistol, hand cannon. It's fast. We got dynamite. We got a grenade launcher and a katana. And then we got David Bowie with the crossbow. I get it, David Crossbowie. All right, let's try dynamite. All right. Whoa. These graphics are weird ass. What is this? Okay. Music's still going. Okay, what's going on? This room looks fucked. Okay. Whoa! Many launcher. Okay, so that health thing says, oh shit, I just got hurt. Do I only have five health? And then what? And then permadeath? Are you serious? First room and I'm getting destroyed already? These two demon looking things? Boom! Took them both out. What's up? Okay. What's this garbage room? Garbage fire. Is that a shark? Is there a shark? Oh no! No, he's got the katana! No! What happened? No! I'm dead? Oh my god. That's it? And it brings me back to the main menu. Oh man, that is cruel. Okay, well let's try it out again. Okay, so we got dynamite. I want to play him again. I like the grenade launcher. I like the katana. See what we can do with the katana this time. Schniggity schnoinks! What's going on here? What's going on? Why can't I attack? What the hell happened? Alright. This game is not winning me over already. This is a little bit weird. How are you supposed to have the patience for this game? Okay, let's try this game. Trying to get you in with the music. I hope I like this game. It sounded cool. So far, I do not like this game. What's going on? Okay, let's see if I can just kind of cut him off. Which thing he's doing? All right, there we go. Took him out with the katana. Let's go. All right, this is extremely weird. Whoa, it's some sort of octopus. I don't think the grenade launcher is the best gun. Like, I need something I can just actually shoot at him. What the hell am I supposed to do with these grenades? Can I cut him up? Cut all his tentacles off. You know, he's just killing me and there's nothing I can do about it. Can anybody else see how I'm supposed to kill him? Oh, he's taking damage. He's taking damage. Okay. So like 3 out of 6 health, I guess I'm doing alright. I have no idea how to judge my uh, capacity at this game, I don't know what's going on. It's so weird. Boom! Oh! Alright, I took him out, what's up? I got some grenades back, got some other items, I have no idea what those are for. I got 48 bucks. Let's go in this room now. Whoa, super skeleton! 
I thought I only said there was one boss. Okay, I got four or six life. Oh, this guy is destroying me. What happened? No! Oh my god, this game is so unforgiving. What are you supposed to do in this? I feel like, fuck, like, I feel like I don't want to play this because it's frustrating and I'm getting nowhere. It's like running on a treadmill. But I also feel like I just want to, like, get back in there and keep trying it because I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Five bucks. Can I buy anything? Pool? Nope. Propeller? Nope. Halo? Nope. No what the hell are these things? It's not a gun either. It just shoots balls. Okay, so I killed that guy. What's up? The game is so strange. I have no idea what's going on here. Like demons, like this weird ass mixture of like Doom and a Windows 95 screensaver. Oh, what did I kill myself? Okay, fuck Gordon, this guy sucks. Okay, let's try the tank. What's this guy got? He's got a shotgun. He's got nine life. Okay, I think the tank is where it's at. Maybe we now we can actually try this game out. What is this guy? Flying turtle? There's like demon flying turtles with guns on them? With mech warriors? What's this guy? This is the weirdest game I've ever played. Oh, I dodged that like the Matrix. What's up? What's up? You guys got nothing on me. Okay, I got a hundo box now. What can I buy? Can I buy some vitamin C? I've got a hundred dollars and I can't even buy vitamin C. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here then. I really have no idea what's going on in this game. The music's cool. Everything else is weird. I mean, I'm giving it an honest chance here, but it's permadeath shit and like unforgiving nature and the randomness and the like what what's the goal like, what's the motivation the game has not even once told me like what i'm it's kind of told me like what i'm supposed to do like i know i'm supposed to fuck shit up but i'm about to die anyway hide around the wall just fucking okay. there we go it's like i'm getting better at this game why the fuck would i want to get better at this game it sucks like, what's going on? There's a thing about adding incentive to this game? Like, what's my incentive? Why do I want to do this thing? Every time I kill guys, why don't I heal? If, it, if it's permadeath, why, are, why aren't I recovering health? Okay, now I got a cannon? This guy just carries around a cannon. Okay? I don't know if any of you guys fought in World War I or World War II or anything like that, or if you're pirates and handled cannons before. I haven't. But I know they're heavy. Anytime I've tried to move one, I could not. There we go. This game is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Only because it's not giving me any motivation to want to continue forward. Am I going back into the same room and then enemies are just respawning? Or am I progressing? Like, I don't even know. How would I know? This game doesn't tell you anything. So. I really don't think that I want to continue playing this game anymore. I wanted to try it out, and I thought it would be fun. It was called Paranautical Activity, so I thought that might be cool. But um, upon further reflection, it is not cool. So fuck this game, and fuck you, Avris, and whatever that other company is that made this game, because the game makes no sense. I'm not even going to pick it up and read it again. Um, why would you make a game that has no objective, that has 
veritably no way to survive, and all the characters suck, and the enemies are stupid and pretty hard to kill. It doesn't make any sense, so I'm um, sorry, but your game sucks. Anyways, thank you for watching. This has been The Last of Devin. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And tune in for the next Let's Play video because you have not seen The Last of Devin. Peace!